Chapter 3 Subsection 4 National Chief Imam Government must prepare an exit plan for the National Chief Imam. This has become necessary in view of the fact that the demise of his deputy has created a vacancy. The intense lobbying by the other Muslim leaders should be properly handled in the face of the promises we have made to each of them. Government will need to find a discreet way of influencing the process of the appointment of the next national chief imam, as well as the deputy. The candidates for this should be well-verified party sympathizers who are likely to stand with the party in crucial circumstances, as has been with the current Ashanti region imam. Nana has shown his love for the Zongo community by creating the Zongo Ministry and establishing the Zongo Development Fund. This is both remarkable and historic in the annals of the political history of Ghana. By this singular act, Nana has taken bold steps towards breaking the NDC monopoly of the Zongos. This project is a must if we ever intend remaining relevant within the Zongos. Finally, cognizance has to be taken for elevating over 50 chieftains to paramountcy status. We need further elevations of such chiefs in redefining our very statehood for which the new uncelebrated old powerful kingdom is to be restored. It is very instructive, looking at the broad coverage of Apuakwa, Kotoku, and Bosoni. We must critically guard against any such issues of the JSC Amagatra ruling of 2019.